who isn't excited about what the offer, what the future looks like, um, hearing what we've heard already. And I want to get there. I want to get there really quickly. But obviously, we're also faced with lots of challenges such that um, Scott laid out at the beginning. So before we jump to the future, it's obviously we can't flick a switch. I want to I want to take a look back first. So if we jump back 20 years, when we look at when Facebook first came out, 2024, it took four and a half years for 100 million users. So these things don't happen overnight, of course. And as you mentioned, Mary Rose, um, it's nearly the anniversary, two year anniversary of ChatGPT. So tomorrow, two years ago uh, tomorrow. But that only took two months to reach the same number of users, 100 million users in two months. The pace of change is extraordinary. And that how are we going to adapt to that change? And oh, even over that five years, what we've seen is five major updates to ChatGPT and lots of new features, whether it's voice, whether it's uh, text, whether it's images. So this is huge change taking place. We can't just flick a switch, as I say. Now, when I think about the last two years in working with leaders, I think about them standing on a train station and there's this AI train going past and they're watching this quizzically, sorry, uh, and it's flashing by them and they're thinking, is this just a flash in a pan? Is it all hype? Are we going to, you know, see this disappear and it will be something else next year? I think so for 2025, what are we going to see? I think we're going to see a recognition that this isn't going away. And actually, the things that Simon and others have talked about in terms of that, you know, bright future is a reality if we can get that progression towards that state. So what are we going to see them doing next year? We're going to see them get on the train. But not only are they getting on the train, they're going to set the direction for it. Every organization is going to need a unique solution for their particular situation mm -hmm. and so they get on the train they can't just do that alone so they need the organization to follow with them so what i'd like to do is just set out some key things i think we'll see leaders doing and what i think leaders need to do in 2025 to get them to that state where they can get all that wonderful uh, benefit from ai I think the first thing is uh, probably the most important to my mind, and it it um, it is often overlooked. So preparing the foundations, AI leadership foundations in particular. So setting that clear North Star, what does it mean for our organization? How do we achieve strategic alignment? Do we have the skills that Simon is talking about to take those adaptive approaches, that adaptability, that psychological safety, to address the fact that people are thinking about the, um, you know, AI as, as uh, quite the evil monster, you know, the Terminator coming to take jobs and all that kind of thing. And how do we push decision making down in the organization to improve that opportunity spotting um, to develop AI solutions? So obviously another aspect of that is around the responsible AI uses. So how are we making this fair, accountable, transparent and explainable to address ethical concerns about the biases in data. So when we are getting the foundations in place, we can kick off with trying to understand our um, why for AI. What is it actually that is justifying our investment in AI technologies? What is our business need? How are we going to measure the return on investment to get to those lovely future states? What are the risks? How do we actually prepare the organization for change? These are all things I think organizations are going to be thinking about next year. And as we do that, how do we then pilot at, at that pace of change that we're talking about? How do we do the rapid prototyping, the testing, bringing teams along, learning um, in a way that identifies solutions for our unique needs? Mm -hmm. And then preparing those solutions to scale across the organization so you can get that real value. And of course, that requires you progressing not just the technologies at scale, but the learning. How do we share that learning across organizations? So I think I think actually organizations are going to be wrestling with all these things next year. And it, it opens up great opportunities. But you can't just deliver those solutions and leave them be. You need to continually adapt and change 
as you go. So for me, next year, in summary, is it going to it's going to be about preparing the leadership foundations, setting out your purpose, your why for AI, piloting innovation pilots that, that take you forward, and then progressing those to scale both the technology and the learning in organizations.